Berkshire. Mm, oh. I don't know. The, Hopefully it's not headed break. this way anytime soon. I know. Well, uh, it was one of the worst oil spills uh, in U.S. history. Mm -hmm. BP is paying billions of dollars to settle the damage done back when the Deepwater Horizon oil rig exploded, spilling millions of gallons of oil into the Gulf. Now a Houston company is on the cusp of a breakthrough, which could mean we'll never have to talk about an unfortunate situation like that again. Andrea Watkins is live in West Houston with more on that. Good morning to you, Andrea. Good morning, and we're in training mode here, pretending that we were on an oil rig right now. Um, OCS Group has always been in the safety business. They inspect rigs, try to prevent disasters like what we've been seeing, unfortunately, what we saw. <clears throat> but what they're doing right now is something different. They're doing electronic tracking in a, in a system called Hazard Track, and this is a brand new technology that they've introduced. And joining me now is the general manager of OCS Group, and uh, Tony Scott, we appreciate you having us out here this morning. Um, first of all, we're talking about the training mode here. I want to show everybody what we have on, going on behind me because what you're doing here is teaching uh, your own employees, your own inspectors, how to use your brand new technology. Yes, uh, and that's right. Um, we've been doing inspections for a number of years uh, for the offshore industry, hazardous area uh, inspections. And these are some of our inspectors that have just finished the job now. Uh, and they've come in because our next job will be with Hazard Track. So the course itself is, is API approved, uh, which is the uh, American Petroleum Institute approved. Um, and, and, and what we're doing is we're making sure that they understand the equipment as a bit of a refresher for them, but it's more important that they understand Hazard Track and how that works. Okay, so let's tell people how Hazard Track works. Because I, I, you, really, you drew a great picture for me when you said, in the past, what we've been doing is writing down the statistics yeah. of what we see on the rig and writing down our report yeah. and then we hand it to them on paper and then sometimes it gets worked with and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. But but it's different when you have yes. it on electronic software. Tell me why it's different. It's different because we can actually hand this over to the rig, this, this new software. And once the, once, the, once the rig have got this in their hands, they can address all their remedial work. So some of the, uh, some of the um, remedial action that needs to take place, they can repair it into the data on here and see the graphs move from being uh, a problem to being something better. And as a, service, better. as a service to your customers, what you're, what you're gonna be doing is looking at the data and saying, hey, you know, you've got a trend here. Yes. Uh, and this is something that you really haven't been able to do before. That's right. And, and we're really keen on this. This is a great safety factor for industry. You know, <coughs> once, once something's out there that's been identified, whether it's the equipment or whether it's a, a training uh, issue, once they've been identified, companies out there can action things and get things uh, the, sorted out. Okay, Tony, I'm sorry we are out of time, but I yeah. appreciate very much what you know. What can be done with this on a large scale? There, the, it's almost endless, Melissa and Mike. I mean, if you can compare the data between the rigs of one company, then OCS can compare exactly. the data between customers. Not necessarily share proprietary information, but see maybe there's a valve that everybody's using that's not working properly. They might be able to see that with the trend on this new software and that's why it's really a good thing and hopefully it will promote the safety of the industry back to you what an interesting look at that. Mm -hmm. that yeah, it, and you know, it's it, it's important because like uh, Andrew just alluded to, you have so many different companies out yeah. there operating, and of course they're not necessarily gonna be talking to each other mm -hmm. about specific equipment issues, so it's a good thing, a good thing that they're working on there. And on a lighter note, Andrea, I have to tell you that she really looked better than anybody I've ever seen in a hard hat before. <laughs> she she pulled it off very well. Very cute, yeah. <laughs>